Hey guys, Wally from Southwest Portland Martial Arts. If you are stuck alone with your heavy bag these days, and you've been beating on your heavy bag for three months now, and you're like, I don't know what to do anymore. Um, one thing you can do is just vary the time domains that you hit your bag. Um, and if you don't have a bag, this can all apply to shadow boxing as well, right? So what I did is I wrote out some ways that I've worked on the heavy bag before. Eight rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. That's called Tabata, right? So I punch the bag for 20 seconds, then sit around for 10 seconds, and then you know, repeat that seven more times. 10 rounds, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of slow. So you punch as fast as you can for 30 seconds, and then 30 seconds you kind of sit around. Five rounds, 20 seconds fast, 20 seconds slow, 20 seconds medium. And obviously you need kind of a fancy clock for this. Uh, most phones have a good app that can do this kind of stuff. Uh, six rounds, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Uh, 10 rounds, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds to do five burpees. Um, one round, two minutes of work, one minute of rest, two minutes of work. Um, so, you know, it seems like that wouldn't matter much, but it totally changes the feel of the workout when you, when you play with the time domains there. So, if you want to drill the principle of uncertainty, or you're just bored, you make up cards like this, and then you shuffle them, and then you pull one. Oh look, I got Tabata. Eight rounds, 20 seconds of punching the bag as fast as I can, and 10 seconds of rest. That's actually what I did earlier today, so look at that. Um, and if you don't have ideas, you can certainly steal mine, but it's pretty simple. You can see one of the other ideas was to mix in another movement, so you can punch the bag and then do a few burpees, something like that. They don't, so they don't have to be time domains. Maybe it's 20 punches, three burpees, 10 times, if that makes sense. If you don't have a fancy clock. It, and again, it's, it's a way to put a little uncertainty into your workouts. It doesn't become sort of mundane, predictable, and you get bored. Make sense?